Hello and welcome to a Gotham Sound TV quick uh, little video. I'm here with Rohan Adarker uh, from Konos. Indeed. Hi. Nice, nice to be here. I'm, I'm like excited about sh sharing the Konos microphone with you guys. Uh, and the Konos microphone is, in fact, in my hands as we speak. Indeed, yes. Uh, so take us through uh, what's special about this mic. Well, the cool thing with it um, is um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just remove this little shield. Mm -hmm. um, you've got 80 elements here, so 20 elements each side. And what that does is form an end fire array, um, a super directional um, but because it's got 80 microphones, what we can actually do is capture sound in 360 around the microphone. Um, in this instance, you'll notice that we have Ethernet coming out of it at the end. So that's kind of unique when it comes to microphones. Um, it's going into a box, um, which gives you control and I.O. So this is powered using um, USB-C power delivery, so 2.0 or 3.0. So it's a 12 volt input. Um, it can be powered off of, um, like, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery um, that can run for about three and a half hours. It's currently plugged into mains using a, f a cell phone fast charger, so it's pretty unique. Um, we've got a nice shiny power button, which you all need, um, and then this is plugged into the microphone. So this provides power of Ethernet to the microphone, but also gets the data out of the microphone into the system. And you'll notice that most microphones have just one output, but we have three. Um, so what's happening there, right? So we've got channel one, which is going into here, which gives you that, that forward beam, the, the focus, what you're actually trying to capture. But like I said earlier, because we're capturing everything in 360, you've got channel two, which captures everything else. So say you, you're on the narrowest beam, um, and that's set at 30 degrees, you're getting 330 degrees coverage from channel two. The, the cool thing with that is that we have three different settings. So you can go narrow, you can go a little bit wider, and you can go to a full 180. And we give you control over that with a simple knob. So instead of having any complicated software interfaces, what this box does for you is like having climate control um, in your car just on, an, on a dial. So you, you, it's as simple as changing your presets. Um, so 30 degrees, 50 degrees and 180 degrees. And you'll notice that the green part gives you your front channel and the white part gives you your rear channel. So if you think of it as a pizza, based on how hungry you are, you can go, I want a, a sliver or I just want half the pizza. Um, then what's channel three? So because we use math to capture audio now, we can say, let's take the front channel and everything that, that, that's in the back that may be bleeding into the front channel, let's extract that. So we use math to be able to do that. So you, you take what you want, you've got what you don't want, and you just extract that, and you form real-time noise cancellation. So we do have a little bit of processing going on in this box, and it, and it introduces about two frames of delay, but um, that's manageable in most workflows. Um, so at the moment, what we're doing is recording all three tracks into an external recorder like this, which is a simple zoom unit. It's going straight into an SD card. And um, yeah, and you can monitor that in a so. nutshell, how the microphone works. And I suppose uh, before we get into the what I'll call the blowout demo. I care. Betsy. I don't want to stay here anymore. Let's go. Yeah. What is he doing? There's a whole sort of production sound ecosystem, like you have a Ryko shock mount for this. Absolutely, yeah. So again, what we've created here, if you, if you haven't noticed already, it's a, it's a square peg round hole problem. <laughs> and so it's a square microphone. Um, and with that comes some unique mounting problems, right? So we've solved those for you. We've got the ability to have liars that, that hold the microphone just behind the array. Um, and we've created um, mounts for the, uh, the Rykoat rails, um, for the, the nano shield, for example. Um, in addition to that, the microphone ships with a, with a shock mount that would fit on any standard mic mount. 